we don't really know about the about the longer term. For chemoimmunotherapy, we know what 10 years looks like. For brutinib, we don't know what 10 years looks like. And for younger patients embarking on treatment with ibrutinib, with an unlimited, as yet undefined duration of treatment ahead of them, important considerations for uh, uh, long-term toxicities that have yet emerged, um, treatment compliance, which is very important with uh, to be successful with kinase inhibitors of any kind, including ibrutinib, those kinds of factors uh, start to, to come into play. So a 50-year-old patient with CLL who requires treatment, if you tell them that they can take ibrutinib, you know, that's, um, you know, they have to balance that against uh, knowing that they may still be taking ibrutinib in five years versus uh, a very short-term commitment for six months of chemoimmunotherapy. And so, um, despite their availability, it's not, it's not always clear that it's, it's the first, first best choice.